Good morning, makeshift family. It's Mary Margaret from Big B Cave uh, and Spot. <laughs> we uh, are here with your at-home activity this morning. Uh, we are going to make some cards thanking uh, first responders and healthcare professionals for keeping us safe and healthy during this time. Uh, Big is our cafe at Big. Uh, is sending out donated meals to different families in the area and in the community um, that are out there just working so hard um, for all of us. So we're going to make some cards that we can tuck in with some of those meals as kind of a surprise um, thank you to just all of their efforts and all of the ways that they are sacrificing right now. Um, so I'll show you kind of the four steps that we're going to walk through and then uh, we'll go from there. So for our encouragement card activity, we are going to gather our materials, step one. Step two, wash our hands so that we um, are making cards that don't have extra stuff on them. Three, we're going to make the card or more than one card. And then four, you can either drop it off at big or you can mail it to big. And um, yeah, I'll give you that uh, Biggs mailing address in the description of this video. So step one, if you remember, is gathering materials. So I'll show you what I've gathered. So then you can gather, pause this video if you need to and go gather the materials that I show you. And we don't need anything special. So I have some different markers. Um, I have pens and a few pencils. Um, I just have some various cards like stationery that I already have on hand. If you have any cards like this or um, if you want to ask one of your parents uh, or your caregiver if they have any on hand then that's great uh, and then you can definitely make several. Otherwise you can um, do what I'm going to do which is get some paper and we're gonna fold and make our own. So these are the materials that um, I've gathered. Uh, again, if you don't have markers, you can use even crayons, colored pencils, anything. Uh, the whole point of this is just for us to thank these families and thank these people that are working so tirelessly uh, right now. Okay, so let's consult our schedule. Two says wash hands. So I want everyone to pause this video and go wash your hands. Okay? So I'm even going to go wash my hands. So you're going to have a blank screen for a minute. Okay? Okay, cool. Break. Go wash those hands. We want our Perfect. So now that our hands are dry, don't mind me. Okay, so now that our hands are dry and clean, we're going to start. So if you want to grab your piece of paper or grab your um, card, you can go ahead and fold. So I'm going to fold mine in what's called hamburger style. So that means that you fold and touch the short ends of the paper together. You see how this is the shorter and this is the longer. So we're gonna fold the short edges together. Per 
perfect. Okay, so I have a piece of paper that looks like this, and you can either leave it nice and big if you would like more space to write or draw, or you can do what I'm going to do, and I'm going to hold it like this, and I'm going to pinch the middle, and I'm going to fold the edges one more time to make a nice crease. And then I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to fold the crease one more time. So I have a smaller card shape, right? And it has a little bit more, it's just a thicker card. And it's kind of the same size as some of the ones that I have. Perfect. So now is the fun part where you get to get creative, okay? So you can design the front. Um, you can draw an encouraging picture. Um, what I like to do is I sometimes like to go through, um, what's it called? Um, I'm sorry, the Bible. <laughs> I blanked on that. Um, I like to go through the Bible and find some sort of encouraging verse or some sort of comforting verse right now. Um, I've been uh, finding a lot of comfort in Psalm 13. Um, it's only six verses and it's super short, and so I'll put Psalm 13 in the in the description of this video as well. Um, but basically, David is just saying that no matter what the circumstances are, that God, you are still good, and God, you are still, um, you know, merciful and gracious. It's just uh, proclaiming God's character over circumstances, and so I think I'm going to use that as my. Um, what's it called? Um, my theme. Um, so anyway, you get to decorate the front. You can decorate any of the parts of your card. You can write in the middle. Um, yeah. Um, perfect. So let's make a card together. All right. I think I'm not sure. I think I'm going to draw a sun on the front of mine just because everything right now, I want everything to feel sunny. And the weather has been so beautiful. And I want to recognize that. And so you could decorate the front of your card with goodness, so many different ideas. Um, you could, let's see. Maybe let's have a brainstorming session. You can write in the comments different, um, or actually these videos may not be able to have comments. So here, here's some ideas that I've been thinking of. You could draw flowers, you could draw your favorite animal, um, you could draw a tree or something from nature, like I'm drawing the sun. Uh, you could put a Bible verse on the front. You could just write thank you. Um, Thank you, we love you, um, you're awesome, anything like that. Um, anything that is just encouraging to this person um, and I don't know, whatever God moves on your heart that you might want to tell someone. Okay, so like I said, I am drawing a sun and I can't wait. I would love for you guys to email your supervisor to whoever your program supervisor, citizen supervisors are. And it would be really cool if you wrote some of them letters too and dropped them off. Because your program supervisors have been doing a lot. So whether you're writing a card to Katie Lucky or Bethany Molly, Pam, Adele, Billy, Jenny, Aaron, anyone. Um, we could all use some encouragement right now. So I have my son. Woohoo. Um, so now I'm going to open up the inside and I'm just going to write with probably bigger letters. Thank you. We
all your efforts. So you can be writing your own message right now, or I'm writing a message that I'll hold up to the screen and you can pause um, and you can use this message if you want to um, copy it. And I'm going to um, hold up a couple more that are super simple, um, but I think people will find pretty encouraging. So here's the message I wrote in this one. So this is my sun card and it says, thank you. We appreciate all your efforts and sacrifices right now in protecting people and keeping people healthy. Praying for you, heart Mary Margaret. So if you want to write this message, you can pause the video and you can copy it into your card, um, sign your name, or you can sign love big, love Katie Malone, love Joel Demary, love Ben, um, love, you know, Emily Belise or wh whoever you are, you can sign your name or you can sign love big. So I'm going to keep holding this up for another couple seconds so you can pause the video. Um, or we can write a couple other messages together. Awesome. So pause it if you want to use this one. If you don't want to use this one, then I'll just write really briefly in this card and you can copy this message. Let's see, what color should I use? I will use purple. I will not use purple because it is dried out. So I'll use my purple Sharpie. Okay, so here's another one that's just all about encouraging that person. So it says, you are amazing. Enjoy this meal and know God is with you always. And then there's a scripture reference to um, the end of the Great Commission. So after um, Jesus commands the disciples to go out making disciples of all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, he says, um, for I am with you always till the end of the age. And so that's the encouragement that he gives the disciples um, for 
before they know that Jesus isn't going to be with them anymore. Um, he lets them know that God and Jesus will never leave them. And so I want our first responders and our people um, that are out there helping heal people and um, even our cafe, even our cafe staff, they're out there making meals for people um, right now when a lot of grocery stores are hard to get to um, and all these things and our cafe staff are just amazing. So if you want to stick a note in there for our cafe staff, please do that too. Um, so yeah, here's the second message. If you would like to copy this one, pause the video. Okay. Um, let's do one more. What do you think? So we have one that is saying thank you. You know, we appreciate all your efforts, sacrificing, healing people. We have one that says you are amazing. No, God is with you always. What's one other thing we could say? And I just touch my hands to my mouth, which is not great if I'm going to be touching a card that's going to someone. So if you end up doing that, get some hand sanitizer and spray your hands. We want to keep our cards as clean as we can so that we are not spreading any germs as well. Um, let's just say one very simple, right? Let's say you've got this. So this other one, is so simple. You've got this. Let God carry you. This will not last forever. So if you like this message, you can pause the video and you can put this in your card. So throughout the video, there are three different message options. Um, I'll put a couple other ideas in the description of this video. So in the description of the video, video you will have the mailing address for BIG in case you're not able to come drop your cards off and you want to mail them. Psalm 13, which is a psalm that a friend told me about yesterday and it's been really encouraging to me. Um, and then a couple other ideas for some card messages. Okay, so let's check our schedule. We have gathered materials, washed our hands, we made our cards. So now the fourth step is drop those cards off at Big. There will be a collection box in the Amazing Grace building in the new building. Um, there'll be a box that with a sign that will tell you that you can put your cards in there a lot like the mask drop off. So once you finish these cards, come bring them by big. Uh, wave at a staff if you see a staff. Thank them. Remember, stay six feet away and try to keep your hands clean and know that um, before we know it, God is going to bring um, healing and he's going to bring uh, goodness out of this. And until then, um, we can just lean on one another, be patient, and continue to find ways to show love to one another. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you make a ton of cards. Uh, I think that we have an opportunity to really share God's love with some of the people and the nurses and the first responders in our community that maybe don't know God. So love you lots, and look forward to the next uh, time I get to see you. Bye!